A 14-year-old genius just applied for 95 jobs. He was rejected 95 times. On the 96th application, he applied for a job at SpaceX. I love this story. This is the incredible and slightly insane story of how SpaceX just hired a 14-year-old genius. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. It's great to see you. Thank you for tuning in. My name is Sam Evans, and I'm the Electric Viking. And I've been saying for a long time that Elon Musk says you don't need a degree to work at his companies. A lot of people thought, nah, that's just talk, just marketing. It's Elon being Elon and saying things and making them up. Well, this story proves that um, he was right. Interestingly, General Motors' Mary Barra has now copied Elon Musk's comments. She's saying now as well, at GM, they want you if you're smart. If you're a genius like this dude, they're definitely interested, degree or no degree. And I think this actually makes a lot of sense. If you're a genius like this kid, I mean, to be honest, you're probably going to contribute amazing things to the company. So here's what happened. SpaceX welcomed 14-year-old software engineer Chiron Quasi to the Starlink team recently. And that is the team he's working in is the team dedicated to advancing broadband technology to connect the world with reliable satellite internet. Just last week, Starlink, who provide internet now to many, many countries worldwide, sent more satellites via a rocket to add to their growing number of satellites in the sky. Those satellites provide internet to many people around the planet, especially people in remote locations or in extreme areas, or even places where there just isn't much infrastructure already for internet. Incredibly, Quasi does have a degree even though he's only 14 years old, but it's not really necessarily a degree related to his field. Now, Quasi earned an AS degree in mathematics with highest distinction and a BS in computer science and engineering with several graduate level electives in machine learning and related courses, he says. He's making history as the youngest engineer ever to join the company, maybe the youngest engineer ever to join any company, and he begins working in July this year. Now, this isn't some kind of case of child labor exploitation. This kid really loves what he's doing. So it's sort of like being a genius and everyone around you is just stupid. So therefore you need to put your talents to work. Otherwise you just get incredibly frustrated. I think that's, I think that's possibly what this kid is like. He said, I'm graduating from Santa Clara University School of Engineering, where I learned that engineering with a mission is not a gimmicky tagline. We're a culture of rigor, collaboration, accountability, and impact deeply resonated with the needs of a radically accelerated learner. Next stop, SpaceX. I'll be joining the coolest company on the planet as a software engineer on the Starlink engineering team. One of the rare companies that did not use my age as an arbitrary and outdated proxy for maturity and ability, he announced via a LinkedIn post on the 7th of June. Just reading that. It makes me feel inspired. I don't know about you, but this dude is a legend. What an utter legend. Like, I mean, clearly this kid has created this comment that he's written on LinkedIn. And like, how many adults do you know that make these kinds of comments? And just hearing this, I I, I need it. I need to know more about this kid. What, a, what an amazing individual. He goes on to say, my early access to transformational leadership began as a nine-year-old. First, when the administrators of a local community college, Los Positos College, enrolled a third grade graduate with no prior accreditation into a full-time mathematics AS degree program. And again, a few months later, when I walked into a meeting with Lama Nachman at Intel Labs and walked out with a generative AI opportunity that would change my career trajectory. Lama recognized that outlier circumstances demanded outlier access to influential mentors and challenging opportunities. In a sea of so many no's by Silicon Valley's most vaunted companies, that one leader saying yes, one door opening changed everything. He went on to say, that leader and that door was SpaceX. To my mentors and friends, Lama Nachman, Intel Labs, Norshad Uz Zaman, Blackbird AI, 
and Nam Ling and Ahmet Aimer at Santa Clara University. I am forever grateful that you recognized my value, trusted my abilities, and invested in my growth. I'm excited to carry these cultural lessons into my career. A huge thank you to my team at SpaceX for the most transparent, technically challenging, and fun interview process. Colin Compton, I knew from our first conversation that I found my people. I am packing my rain boots and ready for July. Colin Compton is one of SpaceX's technical recruiters, says Tasmanian. And Quasi applied for dozens of jobs since the year started and says that he was rejected 95 times. I've got to read that. 95 times. Holy smokes, this dude is persistent. This is the most persistent 14-year-old in the history of the planet, surely. I mean, okay, maybe he's not, but I mean, can you think of anyone else more persistent than that? I, I don't think of many adults. Oh, come on. How many adults are this persistent? 95 times. And he did this as a 14-year-old. Wow. I'm going to share this with my sons. This is this is the kind of thing that is really inspiring. Now, I don't want them to go to work full time at the age of 14, but actually my son, Jack, he has started a YouTube channel and just getting some subscribers would be awesome for him because then he could possibly monetize his channel. He actually puts a lot of work and effort into his channel. So I'll put a link in the description. You don't need to watch it, but if you could just subscribe for me just so we can get his subscribers up a little bit, he would be so stoked. Thank you so much if you can do it. I'll put that link down there. So Quasi said he applied 95 times since the year started and was rejected 95 times. Then he got three job offers because he struggled with getting taken seriously due to his age, he told the Seattle Times. Now Kyran Quasi will be moving from Pleasanton, California to Washington State, accompanied by his mother, Julia, next month to join SpaceX's Starlink team at the Redmond Engineering Facility. Wow, mind blown. I'm actually excited and inspired just to just to see what this kid does. I think he's going to achieve some amazing things. And on that note, I'd just like to say thank you so much for your support this year and really for putting me in this position to share this kind of information. I love it. It's just what an amazing time to be alive. We truly do live in the greatest time in human history. But next year, it's going to be even better. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Thank you for watching.